Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Pathologic 2, where today I think things are going from very bad to much, much worse. The Inquisition is in town, um, things are looking scary, and we've managed to get infected again. So at the end of the last episode, let's talk about this infection thing first. At the end of the last episode, I took some antibiotics in the hope that we could maybe push the infection meter all the way down. It looks like that might not work. We do have one more set of pheromites. Ooh, excuse me. Apparently, I am afflicted. Uh, we do have one more set of pheromycinum plus here that we could take, uh, which will which will push the infection down even further. But it's entirely possible that the infection can only be cured with the schmouter. And if that's the case, we probably shouldn't waste any more antibiotics. Now, one thing we could do is just live with a very, very small amount of the infection. Maybe that's fine. Um, we'd, be, we'd lose health every so often, but we recover health every time we sleep, and as long as we don't get into like a bunch of knife fights, maybe, maybe this is okay. Maybe we could just live with a tiny amount of infection. I was kind of hoping to be able to use the schmouter on somebody else. Uh, I don't know if it actually works that way, but I would have loved to have saved bad grief. But like, maybe we could save Notkin. Notkin's on our list, isn't he? Yeah, he totally is. So maybe saving Notkin with the Schmouter would have a would have some kind of serious effect. I'm sure him dying would have some kind of serious effect. So we should try to avoid that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. I'm definitely worried about this. I think for right now, my plan is going to be just try to live with the infection. It might be the case that things are only going to get worse and that we do have to use the schmouter on ourselves. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, the mechanics of the game obviously are intentionally pretty opaque on this. Uh, while I'm looking at our meters, we should probably eat this canned food. Okay, made us really thirsty. Fortunately, we do know where there is a functioning water pump, although... It's in a plague district, so hitting it will increase our... Or will will lower our immunity. Yeah, man, that's not ideal. But I don't know for sure where there's any other water in the town at this point, so maybe we ought to just take it. Uh, and then we have some thoughts. So we've now entered Act 4, officially. All of our old thoughts are shuffled off to a previous page. Sometimes kids gather at the station. Of course, there is work to do in the hospital. Uh, we did take our fund reward, but we did not go to the hospital during the daytime yet. So that's the thing we got to do. Uh, it has been prophesied that I'll spill rivers of blood. That's true. I do remember that. Uh, we still know the thing about the roots. We still have the thing about people meeting at Saba's place. I don't know. I don't know. I, I do note... Uh, yeah, this, the Uderg's Ear thing, is not on the Act 4 page, so I wonder if that opportunity has been missed now? And we're certainly going to go out to the Step Village and try to find out. But, it's going to be a rough one today. So we know that this district is infected. We already uh, hit Sticky with some stuff, but we do need to stop by the Broken Heart and um, give Andre some help as well. Murky has disappeared after some very weird stuff occurred and we are being advised to go and check a train car. That's a thing we probably ought to do. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm worried all the way around. Stock Rubin is dead. Bad Grief is dead. Okay, focus. For right now, the plan has to be check for the Uderg's ear. Do I want to go get water first, I guess is the question. Again, like, our immunity is an issue, but without water, moving around in the, like, this part of the map is so large, without the ability to sprint, it's a real pain in the ass. Maybe we should check for water supplies in this area, like clean water. I think that's going to be the play. All right, let's make sure that there's nothing else we need to do before we leave. Pretty thirsty. I'm a little hungry, but all this food is all the food I have on me is just going to make me thirstier. So it might be a good idea to wait until we find some uh, some water. And where'd Sticky go? He does not have anything to say. Oh, we do have our um, we do have our own personal repair and upgrade stations. I totally forgot about these. 
I'm actually glad he stood over here to remind me that this is a thing. Uh, so we can only repair our Menku's knife, our Menku's finger with a toolbox, which is hefty. That is a hefty cost. That said, it's a very, very good knife. We should also probably repair our scalpel before it gets busted down too much more, so we need grindstones and a toolkit if we could find one. Would probably be very helpful, although at this point... Is grieving the self-same Great. No, it's not. Why would that be kindly? What about that seems like it would be kindly to you? Huh. Oh. Okay, that person has just burst into flames. Presumably somebody around here is throwing Molotovs. Let's just try to get out of this area. Okay. I was just informed that I should press L. Aspidy is in danger, apparently. Well, the good news is we have, um... We do have some immunity boosters on us. Wait, is this, this area was not marked as infected on our map. I guess... Have we gotten the map for today from the Solonahavs? Maybe I just knew this stuff was infected because I've been here already today? Maybe. I don't know. Let's try to save people, though. I am a doctor. Sort of what I do, kind of, some of the time. Okay, I can help you. I will give you some of this. Alright, better than 50%. Best I could do. Artemiborach? Well? Aglaya Lilich, a state inquisitor and com uh, commissar for critical emergencies, has arrived in town. She has chosen the cathedral as her base of operations. As one person responsible for the current situation, you have been invited to a meeting immediately. Yeah, that doesn't really sound like an invitation. More like a notice of interrogation. Perhaps. Yeah, okay. Uh, the sick are my first priority. The inquisitor is going to have to wait. No one cares what you want. The Inquisitor plans to solve the current crisis in under a day. Well, if that's so, there must be a line all the way to her office, with or without me. Immediately. Yeah, I hear you. Piss off. I hear you and also piss off. Okay. Nothing to show her, but hiding is not an option. Where is she set up? She's set up in the cathedral. Right, we know that because of the, uh, the visions from the beginning of the game. Well, I have very important things to do. For dealing with her nonsense. So if you'll excuse me. Yet we're getting no no glow at all. What 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 is this now? Because the outbreak we have nowhere to bury the dead. Corpses are just dumped at the cemetery. Grace forbids burning them. So yeah, we have no glow at all on plants during the day, it looks like. I was able to run over there and just uh was able to walk directly over that one without ever seeing sparkles. Is Grace in here right now? I'm starting to get really worried about our thirst. Maybe I shouldn't head all the way out to the village. But, like, we really need to. By the time I'm going back in the other direction, I need to be continuing to go in the other direction. Okay, here's Look Grace. Here. My little dove. My dove. Despite it all, you're good. Man, the fact that nothing about her face except the part around her mouth moves when she speaks is very unsettling. You. You brought new bodies, didn't you? Please, enough. Stop bringing them here. There's only so, uh, there's so many of them I can barely hear. The grave's overflowing? Imagine 50 people crammed into this room. You can't bend your knees, can't turn, can't scratch your back, can't even shrug. And it lasts for days. How would you feel? It's torture. Do they hurt? Well, the earth is cramped. No more space. They trample each other. They wail. Then we must burn them. There's no other way, or they'll smother you. No, no burning. Then they won't be able to talk to us. The last thread will tear. Hope itself will dissolve. They'll be gone forever. Can't you see? What? I mean, but they're already dead. They can't feel anything. Yeah, like we're not going to make their situation worse, right? No, they care. They feel. And there's no peace for them now. 
That's all they need. Consolation and peace. There is no one more miserable, more helpless than the dead. Can't you see that? Uh, okay. I, I mean, I totally believe that. Um, I don't... Uh, perhaps with the living are more important? She's not going to want to hear me say that. I mean, she's also not going to want me want to hear me say this. I guess let's say this part. No, Doctor, you don't believe me, do you? Go and listen. Go listen to those huge graves. They dump people there by the dozen. Okay, just try to calm down, Grace. Try to try to be okay. Even I could hear it if I try. Man, do I want to, though? Dead are shrieking and smothering each other. Ugh. Alright, we just need to take pretty much the most direct route to the Step Village. We need to see if the Ear of the Udurg is available. So the Udurg is, is the world, basically. An organism made up of other living parts. It makes sense, sort of. I mean, in the same way that anything in this game does. So there's not a ton of sense in... Um, Collecting herbs. Man, does this happen to anybody else where you, you jump and just you're immediately parched? Every single time you jump, you're like, oh my god, if I don't get some water right now, I might die. Um, what was I talking about? I don't remember. Yeah, okay, the, the Udurg is the planet, right? Boy, that's ominous, the dark clouds passing in front of the sun that way. So, when we were told to save the people on the list, including the Eighth, part of what we were being told was to save the world? I mean, I'm not saying that the plague doesn't seem serious. I'm taking it seriously. I want everybody to understand that. But I am saying it can't be that serious, right? I can't remember, was there water in these? I didn't even remember that these water barrels were out here. Oh my god, there's water in these. That's just... That's just wonderful. Well, let's fill up all of our bottles. We had, like, half a dozen. Okay, that puts us in a much different place regarding the value of gathering herbs, as well as the gathering of running around... or the value of running around. So we have to find the ear. Like I said, we don't have a thought that corresponds to this anymore, at least not on our current page of thoughts. So it's possible that there's not actually anything to do here. It's possible that we just totally missed the, um... Just seeing if there's any gatherable plants around here. Now that we have water again. It's entirely possible that there's nothing to do out here. We, we just missed it. I would hate for that to be the case, but it might be the case. What we do have are all these weird audio cues that are maybe supposed to guide us somewhere, but if they are, I don't know how to... And we're definitely getting... They're getting less frequent. Okay, I know that the, um, the fly audio cues correspond to the locations of plants. We know that. So that's really the only reason I'm thinking that... Um, the springy audio might correspond to something. It might be trying to tell us something. Hard to say what, though. And let's, um, let's go over here and check this other little garden area. We may as well, like I said, pick up plants. Especially if we know we have to go to the bar. No sense not loading up. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky at the bar and they'll want to, uh... They'll be double price day on whatever it is that we have the most of. Okay, but we can afford to brew again. Let's see. Really? You can't... Okay. So there are more springy noises in this direction. I'm just trying to figure out, like, where they're densest. 
I don't know. We like we do not have all day to spend on this, right? I think it might just be the case that we missed it. Oh, hold on now. Did this have blood all over it before? We definitely saw this before. Wait, I had a E desiccated. What on I'm looking at this rock? Yeah, I sure am. The, this rock is absolutely what is giving us that prompt. Well, I can't... Pressing E doesn't do anything, in case that wasn't clear. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. That's a weird thing. Okay, what if we get on top of it and we... Hold on. Let's stand in a place where we're seeing the desiccated message, and let's just pour out some water. That, nope, that didn't do anything. Maybe it wants blood? I, we don't have a lot of... We have some infected blood. No. I mean, it feels like this is a place where we ought to pour out some stuff. And the Earth seems to like blood, but maybe we need to have some clean blood? I guess let's go, um, let's go hit a water barrel, refill, and then head back to town. I don't, I don't think we can afford to spend any more time here. But I do feel like maybe, maybe that's what's up. Maybe that thing is the ear. Okay. Back to my actual job. Turn about 90 degrees right. There it is. Yeah, there's definitely something strange going on there. If we get the opportunity to draw some blood from somebody, um, by which I mean if we encounter a non-plagued body, even if we have to make it ourselves, we should uh, come back with the uninfected blood and pour it in there. So we have lots of water now, lots of bottles, lots of herbs. We should make some tinctures just because we're running a little bit low. Unfortunately, I've distributed our tinctures in such a way that we have, like, one of a bunch of different stuff, so while we are a little bit low on tinctures, we are uh, still also simultaneously low on inventory space. God, I'm so glad there's a barrel of apparently infinite clean water out on the step. I forgot about that entirely, but that's such a nice thing. So once we get back into town, we have to make it to the hospital. And then we, what we probably need to do is go to the hospital and then from there to the Inquisitor. And she's going to be cross about me keeping her waiting, but we have to talk to her, right? I guess we're, we're walking right near this. We should, um, we should go over to the Shrieking Dead. And see if there's anything to learn, because there was a nut. There was room for another thought connected to this one. Look inside. Oh Jesus! Cold, icy cold, I see cold. All called, all. Uh, has Grace given me the power to hear you somehow? Lacking, clad in cold. Is Isidore Barak among you? I mean, this would just be people who are bur buried from the plague recently, right? So this is... The answer is going to be no. Call one, call all. All one, alone. That's a, a cute little bit of English there that probably was not present in the... I wonder if there's a similar... I don't I want to say wordplay. is maybe overstating what's happening here, but... I wonder if there's a similar little bit of poetry happening in the uh, the original Russian, right? I think. Okay, you need warmth. It's too crowded underground indeed. If I burn the grave, this will stop for sure. But should I? Yeah, tough to say. I mean, obviously Grace would not be happy with me burning the grave. Okay, let's get back home real quick. Let's brew a little bit and then we'll uh then we'll head out and do our business for the day. 
So like I said, I would like to give Notkin my Schmouter. It's probably not going to be super easy to find more. My guess is that we're going to um, we're going to find that this is an extremely limited resource and that it's expensive every time we have the opportunity to gather some. But you know what is a more expensive resource? A more sorry, a rarer and more expensive resource? Notkin. So it is at least possible that we will get more Schmouter. If it's not the case that we get any more ever, we can at least attempt to control our own infection more easily. Uh, but if we lose, like, it's annoying to deal with infection in other people, having to keep coming back to them. And uh, like I said, Notkin is a limited resource. So Swevery plus... I wish I could remember what we made the Medral Tincture out of. Let's go Swevery plus Black Twire. This should be something else, right? What did I just make? No, that's making plus Medral. And you know what? Whatever, it's fine. Okay, so we have four bottles of water left. We have lots of Yas. Let's make one of those. I think I want to leave one bottle of water for me, or yeah, one bottle of water for me. The price of salt is going up. Thank Keep you, Sticky. It. It's like we're at war. There's no way that Sticky knows what being at war is like. I'm just gonna make another one of these. Okay, so we have a decent assortment of tinctures. We have some pluses to really boost people's immunity. This gives us some diagnostic ability. I'm pretty happy with that outcome. Uh, we are starving again already. Jesus. Well, I mean, we have the tools to deal with this. Unfortunately, what we do not have is a huge amount of remaining food. I guess we still have most of the money we made today. Uh, let's just go ahead and reset our thirst here at the limited drinks per day fountain and then get moving. So if we try to draw water from the uh, water pump in front of the shady shop it's going to come out muddy and gross right you know what while we're down here let's go check on the train car that we're thinking about with murky i think that's a that's a thing worth doing and let's stop in at notkin and see if i'm allowed to give him the schmouter if i'm not i'll give him these other antibiotics that i have on me Seems like Father thought Notkin was pretty important. Alright, did I get an actual map from you yet today? I do not remember. Uh, yes, I must have, because you no longer have the ability... Ah, that's right, we have to trade for the map from now on. Well, the good news is... We have the stuff to trade for. You know what? I'm going to use... I'll, I'll give him two tinctures for a map. That is acceptable to me. It has no new information on it except... Oh no, that's not... Yeah, that's fine. It reminds me where the, uh, where the lootable areas are because I did not remember, which is also nice. Today might be a good day to see if we can figure out a way inside the Termitary. I'm guessing from the shape of the plot thus, thus far that we cannot. All right. <laughs> the Schmouter is in a Miracles area. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I know that this is a big deal. But let's see what happens. He's just healthy again. And he's immediately changed his clothes back. <coughs> now, unfortunately, you know what? I maybe shouldn't have done that um, today. Maybe I should have waited until tomorrow. Because he's in a... He's in an infected area. Right? But he's not listed as in danger. Yeah, maybe once you've had the, the stuff, if you get schmoutered, you can't ever get it again. Well, we know that's not true, because it's not how it's working for us. And I guess I should save here. Just in case. Alright, let's go see about Murky's train car. Yeah, I'm not too worried about our 
um, our stocks of... Oh, you know what? Do I want to go to the shady shop? I probably do. I was thinking I probably don't want to bother with the water there, but I... We should visit the shop, at least. Maybe we should check in and see what has happened to Bad Grief's place without him there, but... That's a little bit out of the way. I don't know. My guess is that we're not going to find anything meaningful there anyway. Okay, Shady Shop. Have I bought all of the food from you? Oh, I can't even trade with this guy. Oh, I see a purse walking in? Or are you here to bust me? Don't you try anything funny. I'm the only one left selling food for coin now. You won't find a second merchant like me in the whole town. Wait, what? The big city wench forbade coin. Now it's all about those coupons. Try to survive just eating whatever you can trade for, uh, for her candy wrappers. Oh, and share it all with everyone else. A dictator she is. But you're still selling food against the law. That's bold. Think you'll be able to keep this business running for long? Not long enough if you turn your pockets out. It's not like the candy wrapper lady is here forever. It'll all calm down in a week. Or sooner, if someone puts her in a box. I'll have a whole vault of wealth by then. So, what will it be? Gawking or trading? Yeah, you're a sly one. Show me your goods. Okay, so he still has plenty of food. Although, it's expensive now. Wow, it's expensive. Um, And he's not giving good sale prices on stuff anymore either. Seems like everything's... He's not paying as much as he used to. Well... Okay. We don't actually have any food on us. Let's... Let's not worry about it for right now. You can behold the kindliness of egg. Only dreadnoughts. Only grown beings. I guess Bad Grief's place is just right there. Let's go look. Yeah, that's, uh... So I don't know if we're hearing the voices more now because of the fact that we're infected or because it just gets more frequent and creepy as the game goes on. But uh, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe there's something to be gleaned from all of this double-voiced whispering nonsense. I suppose we can only hope. Alright, so we're going the other side of the station. We should be out of the active plague area any moment now. Okay, without having to increase our immunity. I'm having a hard time telling. Our health bar keeps appearing, and the bars only appear like that when they're changing. It's just letting you know that they're changing. So I'm assuming we are taking damage from our infection, but if we are, it's such a small amount that it seems to be completely negligible. The infection bar keeps appearing too, but I think that's because of our natural immunity climb over time. It's trying to show us that our immunity is increasing, not that our infection is increasing. So I'm trying to keep an eye on it, and I think maybe the red part of the bar has grown a tiny little bit, but I'm not certain. And it's hard to know, you know? This is one of those things where your brain can definitely trick itself into believing a thing. Hey, she's all right. Plague bringer is here, walking around. Are you angry with me? Uh, why did you leave without me? I'm sorry. Don't I'm sorry me. I need to know what happened. I was scared. Okay, all the more reason to stay close to me, not run off into the night is a good uh, a good answer, but yeah, let's say that. Will you forgive me? Wow, I'm, I'm a little bummed out to not have an option that continues the conversation and also is yes. Let's say I'm not sure for the moment. I'll just stay here for a while, and then I'll come home. To, to our home. What is this place, Berkey? Have you been living here long? Long? Always. This is, well, it's a boxcar. Broken, I guess. Useless. I used to dream that it had attached to a train while I slept, and I'd wake up and see the sea. Aren't you scared here alone? I'm not alone at all. Who's here with you, then? Guests visit sometimes. 
They're not my friends. No one is. But they play next to the boxcar, and I watch through a crack or from the roof. I also have Mother's doll. Let's go home, kiddo. Let's get a bite to eat or something. I want to make sure she knows she can come home, that I'm not, like, that I'm not mad at her. Okay, so it is still filling in thoughts from... Yeah, Murky's fine, thank heavens. So it is still filling in thoughts from Act 3. The Act 3 stuff is not over. Oh, you know what? The art on that is totally showing the crevice. Time to whisper in it. I didn't have the option to whisper in it. But uh, I think bringing it some blood might help. We just gotta get some healthy blood. Well then, to the hospital. That's a place where you can find some healthy blood. So on the way there, let's swing past this grocery and see if uh, see if what our friend has told us is true. And of course, it has turned out that the candy wrappers are useful and meaningful. And if we'd given up some dead items for them, we might have been pretty happy about that outcome. That said, it's not like we just wasted the potential of those. We got some good stuff for those dead items, eventually. And this part of town should be pretty safe. Should be relatively safe. I want to go in and um, talk to the kids. See if the kids want to talk real quick. Ooh, grindstone empty bottle. Pretty great. People say Anna went to the river at night to drown mice. Guess she hopes to cure herself. Uh, we don't have mice around, though. Only gerboas. Oh, that's what they are. If you don't know what a gerboa is, uh, go ahead and Google it, because they're real weird-looking little things. Uh, she threw some sack into the gullet. I don't know what's inside. We have a custom. To avoid bad fortune, one must drown a mouse. You see, trouble grabs its tail, thinking it has grabbed luck. Sure, because luck is so similar to a mouse tail. By the time Trouble realizes its mistake, the flow of water drags it away. So she must be drowning mice, even though we don't believe in such customs. Throwing sacks into the gullet, huh? That's curious. We might have to have a chat with Anna. Okay, a tourniquet is a thing that I would love to actually be able to trade off of you. A bow to you, Emshin. A bow, Yagachin. You see the lines far ahead. We only see them close. Earth tells us that Burak's line will lead him to great wrath soon. You will face a trial. To help, we offer you a gift. Our silence. Silence? How will your silence be of help to me? Are you testing me? You already know. The lines are the art of hearing. Hearing the cavities within solid bodies. Hearing the points where flesh longs to give in. Hearing where the world longs to give in. You're a hearer. Murmurs and commotion distract you, so we fall silent. No, very much the opposite. I need advice. You gotta help me. You need no advice from the crowd or the murmuring of passers. Listen to your heart, Emshin. Listen to whoever is important. The kin will no longer speak to you in the streets. I hope you guys reconsider. It's not as helpful to me as I think they want it to be. Okay, tweezers, neomycinum. I mean, kids will still have food, right? Almost certainly. It may end up being the case that we get most of our food now by trading with children. So, ferromycinum plus, hard to imagine I don't want to take that. Okay, the hazelnuts and two peanuts for some high-quality antibiotics seems like a total no-brainer. And revolver ammo is good to sell, but if we really can't sell stuff... You know, let's just hold off on that. Oh, hey, some Schmouter. Unfortunately, there's no way I can afford to get that from her. I think we kind of need our safety pin. We could do marbles and two peanuts for the morphine, but I think we have enough morphine right now. I don't think it's a, um, a critical concern. Okay. Kid doesn't want anything from us. What about you? We gotta take food trading pretty seriously. Yeah, I hope that the uh, the kin no longer speaking to us in the streets is not going to be a huge impediment. I, I don't know that we've learned a, a ton of value from them. So maybe I don't need to be worried. Okay, I was just curious if these kids would have anything else to, uh, to give to us. Is the red part of that infection bar growing? 
It's so hard to tell. I don't know. Maybe. I... No, I cannot interact with that big bag. Okay, I gotta get back on track. Limited time. Can we drink from that barrel? Please tell me that barrel is not empty. Awesome. Oh, but there was plague in that water. Which sucks. So if we get water, is it gonna be... Yeah, it's muddy. Alright, never mind. I don't want this. Pour it out. Well, that's a shame. I mean, we still needed the drink. This kid wants a lot of our stuff. We can do soap and morphine for the other two peanuts. That seems pretty good. I have not been trading for soap. I assume that it, um... Yeah, it's not a big deal. I assume that soap increases your immunity a little bit when you use it. And probably it's pretty good for trade, would be my guess. Let's hope so, at least. So maybe I should have been taking it more seriously this whole time, trying to acquire it whenever we saw it, but... It's so hard to know ahead of time in this game whether whether things are going to continue to get worse or not. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Where am I? I'm here. I need to turn right. Go down the road. We didn't actually visit the grocery store because I got con or I got uh, distracted. We'll hit this pharmacy and see if it is in fact the case that hard cash trading is dead. We have enough money to buy a little bit of food from the shady shop. Not a little bit. We, we can get a, a bit of canned food. Like, good stuff. Maybe the fund will start paying us in the candy wrappers, or... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, I mean, this... This woman is definitely still selling things in cash. We could just buy a lancet instead of trying to repair our Menku knife. Because it is a very expensive repair, right? What would she give us for the kind of stuff we have in our inventory? Turns out mostly nothing. The Medrel antibiotic actually pretty valuable. I forgot to visit the bar to try to sell off our, um, our other stuff, our herbs. Okay, money's looking a little precious at the moment. Hold on. We don't need to buy anything from her right now. So let's start by getting to the hospital here. I don't know why I came over to these exposed herbs. I don't have anything to give them. Because those are the ones that we didn't feed, right? Yeah, I think uh, this, this may be a day where we have to do some looting. Looting, finding things the kids are going to want to trade for, and then trading with the kids is probably going to end up being really important. Okay, you could just do the repairs that I can do at home, so not a big deal. We do need thread. Should value thread pretty, pretty highly, if we can find any. Thimble for a safety pin, not really a good deal in my current position. Let's see if our, um, oh dear. I don't even have the option to, uh, interact with these in any way. Okay, our lovely bone sculpture is certainly coming along. Well, it is pretty obvious that everything is getting worse. No two ways about that. Like, a lot worse. All right, let's have a look in here. Ruben's dead, so I don't know who's going to give us our jobs. Maybe, uh, maybe Yulia will take over for him. Okay, there's somebody interactable over here. Or maybe it'll just be generic townsperson. You plan to work today, doctor? And who are you? Grigory Gorky, a doctor. Or Grigory Gorky, doctor. A coal heaver. I'm a Keynes man. A 
A coal heaver? Why is there a coal heaver in my hospital? Well, I work here, Doctor. Don't you recognize me? I'm an orderly, same as everyone. This ain't even my first shift. I just done of the co costume today. We're ordinary people under the masks. Under the terrifying bird masks. Right, of course. A lot of patients died last night. They moaned for a while, and then they stopped. I guess some are still breathing. Nestling next to the corpses, twitching. Can't tell anymore. Okay, and what were you doing? Why haven't the bodies been taken away? Now don't raise your voice at me. It's a theater, not a hospital, and I'm a coal heaver, not a doctor. No one ever taught us how to fight a plague. She's a cunning minx, mixing the dead and the living into one. One day she's silent, and the next she mows down a hundred. She'll mow your folk down too, mark my word. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> well, your best sucks. So, what are our orders for today? Okay, I'm in charge now. Great. Um... We need to find the survivors in this meat grinder and return them to proper beds. Stat, I'll do it myself while you heave some coal. Or prepare bandages and warm water. When I bring the survivors, you'll need to wash them. Let's do that. Find the living among the dead, inside and outside the theater. Okay, I can do some of that. This lady is not living. What she is, is dead. And that means that I can drain some healthy blood from her. Did she... Did I get healthy blood? I got infected blood. Of course I did. Why did I think I would get... Whatever. So, we know that we can make from the liver... Oh shoot, I can't remember. Is One of these is the stomach. This one's the liver? This one's the... That's where I would say my stomach is. Yeah, this one. Damn it. We haven't actually tried making a tincture out of the star, like a cure out of the stomach. Oh, that's a kidney. Okay, yeah, we haven't tried that either. And I looted her already. Uh, you. Do I want to take blood? Maybe, I don't know. What I want to do is get a liver. There we go. It doesn't say infected. Hold on. Green blood? Okay, the blood's infected. I'm just thinking, you know, uh, for keeping our infected friends alive. So yeah, we're just going to hear the thing speaking to us non-stop now, which is great. Well, it doesn't seem like there are any living inside the hospital. Let's sort the living from the dead out here. The thing is, I don't have the ability to, inter to interact with basically anybody. So... I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do this. I don't, I don't actually know what my responsibility here is. Maybe there are no living. Maybe the point here is that I'm going to try and find that there are no living. Oh, I seem to have walked up onto a person's face. Hey kid, maybe don't just walk around out here. Uh, we can't really afford to get that ferromycinum. Okay, hold on a second. What did that thought say? Find survivors among piles of corpses and put them back in beds where they can receive proper treatment. Okay. It said both inside and outside the hospital. So I thought there would be some inside the hospital, basically. Okay, got one. So it's probably, it's probably not that I need to find all of the ones that are inside and outside the hospital. I just have to find any four in total, and there are probably a lot more than four available. Well, let's keep looking around then. I wonder if they'll be more common in areas where the plague just was. I mean, that would make sense, right? Am I so hungry again already? Jeez. Hey, kid, I would love this egg. You wouldn't mind parting with an egg. 
So three for the marbles and three for each spring. I'm willing to cough up both of those. We get an egg and a needle, maybe. Yeah, sure. I do feel like we're not having much difficulty remaining uh, respected, so that's nice. Boy, we're going to find somebody who's just, like, way into chisels, and they're going to be our best friend. All right, let's cross over here and go try to speak to the Inquisitor. So this area up ahead of us is in looting mode, and that right there is a looter. All right, maybe we can go... Can't. I think I heard a whisper. Yeah, he saw us. Well. <laughs> ah! Really? Man, was I, I was at like full health, too. Or very nearly. I decided to turn and try to run rather than fight the guy with the knife, and, well, y'all saw how that turned out. I can only look at parts of Mark to get him to talk to me. Hand, a foot in the door, I sure do. Ahead. Let's leave that one screwed on for now. You know how it works, right? You are Artemy Burak. Finish your story and try not to die. Okay, dude, please help me understand. It's absurd. You're making it easier and easier for me to die while my goal is to overcome death. Meaning, not die. It's a contradiction. <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay. Am I- is it that I'm supposed to stop fearing death? Not even remotely. How could you? Death is repulsive. We're looking for a sustainable way to step over it. Not even run from death, as you clearly know, that would fail. By the way, which attempt is this? Thirteen, isn't it? Man, is it? It could be. <sighs> then what? If I take risks and confront death head-on, all I get is another rock tied around my ankle. How is that logical? Like I'm the one burdening you with these rocks. Then who? Death itself? Teaching me to overcome it? To push limits? Death teaches nothing. It only waits. It's an abyss without will. The plague teaches. The town teaches. Conflict is educational. Some might say failure is educational. Such was Simon and Isidore's plan. Wait. What plan? Oops, too early. The play itself isn't mine, haven't I mentioned? They wrote the script. I'm just an interpreter, a prompter. You're Artemy Burach, right? So follow your father's path. That's your line for now. Your bridge over the abyss. Build it, and it'll all come together. Unless the rocks drag you down. But, okay, that thing he just said is actually super interesting. But I'd like to get back to, why have rocks at all, though? I don't understand. I can give you several answers. A. It's not up to me. B. I'm doing this to mess with you. C. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you profit from it. Or D. So that you'd stop dying and finish your damn roll. Which one do you choose? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, notice I don't have the option of taking D, actually. I know how I profit from this. One must be tough enough to withstand death's proximity if they are to face it often. That's the only way, isn't it? Is that what I want to say? Um, It's probably C. Death is overcome through force of spirit. The braver the opponent, the more seriously death takes them. Something lofty like that. Drivel, you're wrong. Okay, then how do I profit from this? I don't know, I just feel this way. To overcome death, you must come in close contact with it. But you won't defeat it by climbing into its maw, nor by running. It's different. How? I don't know. If I did, why bother with all this? You tell me. How? I, I don't know either. <laughs> Not helpful, Mark. Has he ever been helpful? Alright. So we're gonna end up at Notkin's place just after having given him the schmouter, I think. We haven't really done a whole lot of value since then, so I guess it's not a big, big loss, but... Um, I don't know that I really have enough time to do anything of value after this. I'm a little more compressed than usual here. Um, 
So I think this is probably going to just be where we call it for today. I know the episode's a little bit on the short side, but um, we could run around for 10 more minutes. I don't think anything would get done. This seems like a cleaner place to stop, although obviously I would love it if we could get to the other side of this loading screen. Thank you. There we go. You know, sometimes the game wants to help you produce good content. You just got to give it a little bit of a push. So that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time, tomorrow, we are going to speak to the Inquisitor, we are going to stop dying, and we are going to figure out what the hell is going on around here. And we'll see you then.